Okay, on our second lesson, I'm going to do a couple things. One is text over video. So say I wanted to have this shot be labeled as a POV shot. I can actually put titles over my video. You can see here, and I'm going to call that POV. Um, and if I want to get it sort of out of the way, I could maybe justify it so it's out of my actual shot. And that will be on for the duration of the shot. You can see here it starts and ends. If I wanted to have it end a little bit sooner, um, I can do so just by shortening or lengthening the actual transition. I can also have it come in a little bit after as well and then fade out. Okay, so that's text over an image or a, or over a video. The other thing that I wanted to show you is some of the different effects that we can do. So with this shot, um, I'm going to turn it black and white. So if I go here up into my options, clip filter, there's lots here, there's different effects, but the one that I want is just black and white. So I can apply that to my shot. It's now black and white. Um, this piece is obviously a secondary piece of video, so it's going to be differently affected. I can go in here. I can do something different with it, um, make it look more um, like cross-processed like film. Another thing that I want to show you guys how to do is to do speed recording. So one thing I can do is I can uh, speed up a shot or I can slow down a shot. So I could slow motion this shot. It's also going to affect the audio. So I could say um, that I wanted this to go fast. And now when I play it, you can hear the sort of chipmunk voices. And then with this pan, if I wanted to, one, I could reverse the clip. That's going to play backwards instead. And then I can also do a slow motion. And there's different options for how slow. And you can see that it affects how long the clip becomes. Once I'm happy with that, so now this is slow motion and reverse. And you can definitely hear it in the audio. So play around with some of the other effects. I'd like each of you to apply an effect.